Hi, everyone, and welcome to our webinar session as part of the DevCon, Weeks DevCon, on how you can bring your own logic to our checkout calculation. First of all, I want to open with a problem. We are the doors and we have a tea shop. In our tea shop, we sell online tea bags and tea instruments like teapots and tea glasses. So when you sell tea bags, you want to incentivize customers to buy more tea bags by reducing the shipping cost. So it's all about rate by quantity, which is something that Wix today doesn't support. We do have a flat rate, rate by weight, rate by price, but you cannot create your own custom shipping logic calculation, such as rate by quantity or anything else related to the cart. More than that, in our tea shop, we want to sell teapots and tea glasses, which are fragile and needs extra care. So when we ship them, we have additional costs of special packaging for fragile items, which we want to reflect to our customers and charge them so we can run our business in the good way and in the best way. So I'm though I'm a product manager at e-commerce platform team. I'm Donald Pavli, I'm an engineering manager in I'm e-com platform team in Wix. And I want to start with an agreement that we all know that Wix mission is all about creating those best products, end-to-end -end products for our users to run their businesses online. But in reality, when we create a feature, not every business is going to use it because different businesses have different needs and different customizations needs for these specific uh, pain points that related to industries or related as our shop to specific calculation needs at checkout. This is why sometimes we'll, we, we need a way to tweak or to change a little bit our native features or at least the ability to have uh, uh, our own logic for calculation besides those amazing uh, native features. And today we are going to introduce you a new way where you or any other developer can affect, can inject, can add a spatial uh, calculation logic, your own logic, bring them, and we will take care of them as part of the e-commerce platform. So for that, we're going to use SPI. So let's take a second to, to talk about the concept of an SPI. SPI is a service provider interface, which is basically an API that we define and you implement. With SPI, you don't call us, we will call you during runtime. We will run your custom code alongside our native, our native code. We will call all of the SPI implementers one by one, get the responses, and then continue with our code. For example, if we were talking about uh, shipping rate extension points, we can call the, the implementers of this SPI. For example, different shipping carriers that can provide shipping options for a specific car, such as UPS, DHL, FedEx. So users, so buyers will get different and, and versatile shipping options in their checkout. Today, in our checkout calculation flow, we calculate many things. We calculate the shipping and discounts and tax, additional fees and payments. We are exposing extension points to four of these steps, the shipping, discount, tax, and additional fees. Today, we are going to demonstrate two of them. So first, we're going to talk about the shipping SPI. Yeah, so the shipping SPI is the ability, okay, or the call that Total's made to get all the shipping rates from different providers to the checkout and present them. So. Obviously, our Wix shipping native uh, setting solutions work with it. We also add another layer of leading apps, shipping and fulfillment apps like Shippo, ShipStation, Shibo, and many others that solves business needs when you install the apps and implement the, this a, a, a SPI. And now we are also exposing this SPI to you, the developers, so you can write your own custom, uh, customized and tailor-made logic to calculate shipping. And the second SPI we're going to talk about today is the additional fees SPI. Yeah, which is totally brand new one. We're very excited about it because now you are the first one to use it. We're releasing today 
the mechanism for you to get all the cart visitor member line items information when when you call totals by creating a cart or a checkout and then the ability to create your logic to charge extra fee and return us an array of extra fees that we will present all over our Econ platform pages, which is amazing. And you can solve a lot of business use cases with this mechanism. Cool. So let's go back to our T-Shop and our custom requirements that we can't answer using our, custom, our native feature today. So the first gap we introduced is the we want to charge additional fee for free items. Exactly. Uh, and then we also want to, to offer a shipping option, shipping rate that is calculated uh, by total value and total quantity of the order. Yeah, let's tackle those gaps one by one. The first one we're going to talk about is the we want to charge additional fees for additional items. So let's be more specific. A uh, fragile item is an item that has teapot or tea glass in its name. This is the, the product requirement. A basic one. Yeah, a basic one. So for the sake of the example. Uh, so for this one, we're going to introduce the additional fees SPI. Oh. So when you implement the additional fees SPI, you basically implement a function that gets in the arguments, the data, data about, uh, about the cart, line items, shipping information, and a bunch of other uh, stuff related to the current card. You can find everything you need in the documentation. We'll post the link later. And you need to return basically the list of additional fees you'd like to apply on that specific card. Let's go, let's see it in action. Let's do it. Cool. So let's just, all right. Let's go over to our editor. This is our, uh, our site. Uh, we already enabled a developer mode. We have all developers here. Uh, let's go to public and backend section. And you can see we have a new section here called custom integration. This is basically the entry point to implement all the SPIs you want. Uh, so, so oh, great. And click the plus button. And now let's implement the first additional fields integration. We need to give it a name, let's call it additional fees. And you can see it will create two files. It will create the config file and the implementation file. The config file is actually the metadata about the, the implementation. Uh, for some implementations, uh, we use this metadata to, to represent, a, represent them in the UI or just uh, take into consideration running our logic. Uh, and for some, we don't need any, any information. For this, for this uh, SPI, we don't need anything. We don't need any metadata. So we can just return an empty object and it will be fine. But now let's go to the really interesting stuff. Let's go to the implementation file. Let's maximize it. As you can see, we have an empty function, calculate additional fees. We need to implement, we're getting the options. Uh, we saw that it's the actual, it's the data of the card and we'll need to return in a second, a list of the additional fees. So we are talking about additional fees for fragile items. That means we need to go over all the items in the card and search for items that have teapot or tea glass in their name. Let, let, let's do it. So let's create a variable called has fragile items and We'll go over all of the line items with the sum method and search for item that the product name, let's use the lowercase to make the search easier, includes T glass and, or, sorry, or T pot. I, I, I did quickly because it's just simple JavaScript, but let's go over it for the sake of uh, to, to better understand. We go over all of the right items, searching for items that has, for item that has in its product name, tea glass or teapot. If we found any item that includes, includes a tea glass or teapot in its name, this function will return true and has red items will be true. Great. Let's move to the, to the end for a second and see what we need to return. So we need to return the additional fees. 
and we need to return the currency. The currency is just US dollars. And let's create the additional fees list. We'll fill it along the way. Cool. So now if, if we have fragile items, we want to add an additional fee. Yes. So let's go to the additional fees array and push a new additional fee. Let me just use my cheat sheet right here to get the structure of the fee. Because and let's fill it. You need to provide code, name, price, you can provide additional data. For the sake of this example, we'll use code, name, and price. So code, let's call it a special packaging. And name, it will be shown in the cart, the checkout, and then later on in the orders in the email. So let's make it prettier, special packaging. And the price, how much do you want to charge for uh, special packaging, fresh lightning? So really here, it depends on the logic. We will take it to a basic and simple one. And when adding a fragile item, no matter if it's one or a lot, yeah. we just want to uh, um, to charge extra $2 for the materials of the special packaging for the fragile items. So the price will be two for materials. Now it's uh, more clear. Let's go over it really quickly. We, we have a list of additional fees we are later going to return. We were going over all the items, searching for at least one item that has in its product name the tea glass or tea pot. If we have, if you found one, then we are pushing one additional fee, special packaging with the cost of $2. That's it. That's it. Very we're simple. We're publishing. And once it's published, we can go to the live site and see it in, see it in action. Okay, so let's see. Let's uh, see it live. Let's see it live. This is our our site. Uh, let's add a viscous flower first. Tea bag. This is my favorite tea. Uh, let's add it to cart. Uh, let's view the cart and see that no additional uh, no additional fee should be charged. So we see the subtotal. We see the estimated shipping functionality where we can add shipping and tax and the total, but we don't see any additional fee. As expected. As expected, yeah. Now let's add a fragile item. This is the classic tea glass. Let's select color green. Amazing. Amazing. Edit cart, and let's go to the cart page. And great, see, great. Special packaging additional fee is added $2. Yeah, so then the, the classic tea glass, as we wanted in our business uh, logic, in our logic that we created very easily in Velo. Very easily. Triggered this special packaging fee because we added a fragile item as we define it. Right. Exactly. So I think we can cross off the first one. Which is amazing. Which is amazing, which is super easy. It's just plain JavaScript. We just went over all the items, searched for the fragile ones, and returned the additional fee if we needed. So let's go back to our presentation for a second and see what we did. We, it was all done using Velo. Amazing. We created new custom integration, additional fee. We got a, a, a function we need to implement. The, in the request, we got data, data about the cart. We did our magic, our internal logic to calculate the additional fees if needed and return them if needed. And it was super easy. It was super easy. And just additional fees, I can imagine, a lot of businesses, online businesses that need those special tweaks, special extra charges like gift and flow, order insurance, fragile items, carbon free emissions. You name it, you name it. And you can do it very easily for your clients. Very easily. And yes. So I think the first one is done. Great. Let's move over to the second gap we have. Second gap, we want to add a custom shipping option. Custom shipping rate, the rate should be calculated according to the quantity and total value. So let's be a little bit uh, more specific here. Yeah. We want to start with a base price of $10. And if the quantity is more than five items, the total quantity of the card, we want to reduce it to $7. This is the incentive for this customers that need more tea bags. Yeah. So, and if the value of the card is less than $10, we want to reduce it to $5. And this is, is because we don't want to lose cards because only one tea bag is bought and we charge more than the tea bag. 
This is our logic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right or wrong, we want this specific logic. Let's see if we can make it. And we have like two 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 values, and we would should take the minimum because we have like quantity right. and the total value. So for this, we're introducing the shipping rates, shipping options, SPI. Almost exactly like the additional fees, you will need to implement a function. You will get the card, uh, the card data. You'll get the line items. You'll get the shipping origin address, the shipping destination address, and you'll need to return the shipping options list of, of the, sh the, the, well, the shipping options you present to the buyer in the count and in the and checkout check with code, title, cost, great. So we went over the documentation. Let's see it in action once more. Going back to our editor, going back to custom integration section, let's add shipping rates integration. Let's call it shipping rates. And again, two files will be added, the configuration file and the implementation file. Now for this SPI, the configuration file is needed because the, the shipping rates SPI comes from the shipping region, from the shipping rule. You can enable it within different rules. You can, you can select uh, one rule to enable it and other rules not to. Yes. Your you, choice. You're creating a, a, a calculation logic. And then in our UI, in the weak shipping settings uh, panel, you can choose if you want to activate it for a specific region or for all regions. Exactly. This is why we present you the application of yourself. Exactly. So we can add uh, different information about our implementation, the name, description, learn more URL, dashboard URL. For this example, we'll just return the name. Super easy, super small. Let's first publish it to the configuration. And before moving to the life site and actual implementation of the shipping rates SPI, let's go to our dashboard, our shipping and delivery page under the settings, and go into our, uh, let's just refresh it because it's an integration, and go into our uh, United States uh, shipping rule. Okay, so this is the time, I think, to say that your special uh, or a custom uh, calculation logic for your rates we live together with our with shipping rates. Exactly. Right? You can and offer, applications. yes, you can offer with one shipping rule. You, you can offer shipping options such as flat rate, free shipping, rate by weight, you all know it by now. For this example, we offer standard flat rate of $30. You can offer local delivery, you can offer local pickup. And as you can see, you have a new section right here called install apps. Each implementation of the SPI considered as an app, and you can just enable it. So and now you enable the application of yourself. Exactly. And when enabled and activated for this region, your logic will be implemented to customers buying from this region. For example, if a buyer comes from the United States, our logic will be called. Amazing. But if, if a buyer comes from other other area, other country, our logic won't be called because we didn't enable it. In so the, rule. the user has the full freedom to do whatever he wants. Exactly. So now we've enabled it in the uh, shipping rule of United States. Let's go back to our editor and go back to our implementation. So as you saw in the in the additional fields, again we need to implement a function called get shipping rates, gets the card data, and returns the list of the shipping rates. So let's first return. I added a cheat sheet right here, so I won't have to write that much code. We can return the list of shipping rates. And now let's create a helper function because we're all developers and we love helper functions. So the first helper function will say, let's get rates by quantity and value. This function will get the same argument as the original one. And we'll return, sorry, return, come back to my cheat sheet, to the structure. Great. And we then some shipping option. Let's fill it out uh, field by field. You see, code, title, cost, very simple, very straightforward. And I imagine that the developers that are going to work with it will work with the documentation. Yes. Be shared with you all, guys. Yes. 
and then you can work with the documentation, understand exactly what you need to fill, and uh, return in the response page. Exactly, links to our documentation will be posted probably Great. with this video. Uh, so we need to first calculate the total quantity and the total value of the order. So let's do it quickly and just go over it. So let's create a total quantity. And again, let's go over the options, the line items. And now we we'll aggregate the, the total quantity of the items. Bear with me, I'll explain in a second. We're adding the item quantity to the total aggregation and starting with zero. Simple, straightforward JavaScript. We're using the reduce function to aggregate all the results, all the item quantities, adding it to the aggregate, the, the aggregate value, starting with zero. This will give us the total quantity of the items in the order. Uh, let's do a similar calculation to get the total value of the order. So now let's call it total value. And we, you will use the same reduce. And now instead of aggregating just the quantity, we'll take the quantity and multiply it by the item price because the item price is the item is the price for a single, single item. So we'll need to multiply it by the, the number of items we have in the cup. So now we have the total uh, value and the total quantity of, uh, of the cup. Let's calculate the two different rates and we then we'll take the minimum. Great. Uh, so the first rate will be, let's call it a quantity rate. It will be, sorry, let's first, before that, let's just declare the base rate, which will be $10. Now the quantity rate, we are saying that if the quantity is more than five, we want to return a reduced rate of seven. Right. So quantity, total quantity, more than five, we want to return seven. Otherwise we return the base rate. Let's do another calculation of value rate. Now we want, if the value of the order is less than $10, we'll charge only five. Charge only five. So if, total value is less than $10, we'll charge five. Otherwise, we'll charge the base rate, right? So this one, this, this way for our business logic, we don't want to lose cart. This is why we're reducing the rate for the low value cards, yeah. but we also want to incentivize the quantity. So we reduce the rate if you buy more on our shop. Exactly. So now let's just break the final rate and we said we're going to take the minimum between those two values the quantity rate and the value rate quickly going over because we have like six lines of job of pure javascript here uh, aggregating all the item quantity to get the total quantity of line items aggregating all the quantity times item price to get the total price of the card and then doing two independent uh, calculations to get two different rates, can be seven or 10 or five or 10 and taking the minimum between those. Mm -hmm. This is the final rate. So now let's give it the code name will be by quantity and, and value, the title, which will be shown in the cart and checkout and order and emails should be prepared. So let's call it again by quantity and value, the price will be the price we just calculated, will be the final rate. And the currency again will be USD. So let's call this helper function along inside our array, pass it to the options. That's it. That's it. That's it. The hardest thing here was to calculate, uh, to do the JavaScript calculations. Yeah. The SPI works like magic. Let's publish it. It's published. Let's see. Buy a cart. Estimate shipping. Let's say we are from United States. And see what shipping options you're going to do. 
Okay, so we got our standard flat rate. Right? Yeah. This is the thirty dollars we saw earlier in the settings, and now you can see we got the right, five quantity value. and value, which is ten dollars. Why it's ten dollars? Because the quantity is not not more than five, less, less than five, two items, and the total value is more than ten dollars. So, so you you took the base rate. Yeah. So now let's right. just increase the quantity. Of the tea bags, the tea bags, six tea bags, one tea glass, and you can see that the rate just dropped to seven. This is the incentive for customers to buy more. Amazing. So you have a whole mechanism to control your calculation of how you want to calculate shipping and how you want to calculate extra fees. And I think that you just saw our two yeah. pain points of our specific needs, our shop, the tea shop needs, right? Yes, yes, and it's, it's amazing. amazing. It was all done with Vela with just not not a, not a lot a small amount of code minimum amount of code it was super super easy and we have a lot of time remaining a of time. yeah so let's uh let's add something take it up a notch. let's take it to the next level let's say we want to be more environmental friendly oh i think it's very important and we want to reduce our carbon emission uh, footprint uh, so for that, I think we can offer a new uh, shipping option uh, that will have a low carbon uh, footprint. And let's combine the two SPIs. So if you, if the customer didn't choose those low carbon emission option, shipping option, we charge a small extra fee and donate it you can in, donate, in yeah. the name of them. Okay, let's do it. So we're combining, and Doug will show you in a minute how we combine the two SPIs and we have a new shipping options, and then by shipping option selection, we add or not adding the additional fee. The additional fee. Okay, so let's create, we are back in the editor, back in the shipping rates implementation file. Let's create another help, 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 help function. Let's call it rate, just uh, let's say low carbon emission. Rate. We shouldn't get any params. It will be simple as just returning the object. Say uh, low carbon, carbon, and the title will be low carbon. Let's say let's say carbon, carbon free, carbon free shipping. Carbon free shipping. The cost will be a bit more than the regular shipping. Let's say around ten dollars yes that's it so you call this function return it with our shipping rates that's it Publish just it. added another option just added another option actually no logic here just another flat rate but now this is where the magic happens let's go to our additional fees implementation and here we want to see if the user if the buyer selected the specific yeah, the, the specific shipping rate we just uh, we just created, and if you didn't select it, you want to add another additional additional additional. That's it. So in order to, to do that, we can go over the options, go into the shipping info object, go to the selected carrier service option, which is the selected shipping option the user the buyer just selected, and check the code. Now the code that we just gave our new shipping option is low carbon. low carbon. So you want to see that the code is no, is not low carbon. And if it's not low carbon, we want to add additional fee. So let's add additional fee. Let's call it carbon fee. And let's say a donation to make the world better. Cool. And we want to charge one dollar. One dollar. Publish it. So actually, we're done. The two SPIs, yeah, the two SPIs, the additional fees and the shipping rates are now aware of each other. Yeah. And you are you you are aware of your custom implementation within different SPIs. And it's amazing because and it took us six lines of code. That's what I wanted to say how easily you can now with the VeloCode and the implementation of the SPI answer a new customer need. 
a new client needs. So let's see, let's go back to our cart and see the action, just refreshing the cart here. Okay, so going back to our cart, we see that the new additional fee is just added, the donation to make the world better. And it was added because we didn't choose the new low carbon emission uh, shipping option. The new shipping option. Yes. Yeah. So let's first see it here. It's here. Let's select it and see what happens. Great. Okay. So now we have only the special packaging fee, the new donation additional fee just removed. Amazing. So the two SPIs are, are working together. Working together. Great. Great. I think we can take it to the next level. Let's take it to the next level. Yes. And the next level is the, you need to know that your code that you just written here in Velo using JavaScript runs in the backend environment, runs in our backend environment, which means you can integrate with any API you want, any API, everything. So what Tony is saying here is that in my calculation logic that I create here, I can call any external API, get additional information and use it in right in runtime to calculate my rates. Exactly. So Google Maps, Google Maps, specific carrier, yes. Every everything basically. Whether Google Maps, specific carriers, whatever API you want. That's amazing. Even APIs you write in Velo, you can integrate it. So you integrate with APIs, you calculate your own uh, uh, your own uh, logic by your own business logic, and then you present it at checkout in real time. Exactly. So let's, let's do another quick example. Let's say I want to uh, present a new shipping option, uh, and the rate should be calculated according to the distance. Right by of, distance. Right by distance of the buyer from me or us. So we want to charge for. We are here in the conference, and we want to charge. From here, one dollar for each mile. For each mile, we want to charge one dollar. Yeah. Okay. So for this, let me just create a new little function that will go over in a second. Let's paste it here. Great. So this function, what it see, what what it actually does, we are calling Google Maps API, calling the distance metrics uh, method, and using our uh, predefined API key with region and destination arguments as strings, getting distance in meters, parsing the response, and then just rounding it up to get the distance in miles and returning it. Amazing. So let's use this function and create the last type of function for us today. It's called get rate by distance. And this function will get the same options as before, and it will be asynchronous because we're calling external API. So first we need, again, just to modify a bit uh, the request to get a single string of the shipping origin and the shipping destination. Uh, if you take a look at the documentation, the shipping origin and destinations are objects containing street address, and zip code, and country, and subdivision. We want it into one line of string. So let's create shipping origin variable and we'll use JavaScript magic. We'll go over all the values of the options shipping origin and join them using comma. Doing the same on the shipping destination object. Destination, great. Doing the same, we now have two strings of shipping origin and shipping destination. Let's call our function to get the distance. Distance. We will wait the calculate distance in miles between the shipping origin and the shipping destination. And return the same object of shipping option, we'll call it by distance. distance. And we'll call it again here by distance. And the price will be, we said $1 per mile. So the distance, just this. And again, 
just adding it to the list of available shipping options with awaiting and passing it the options object. And just that's it. That's it. We just integrated with Google API. Let's go to checkout now to see this slide. Yes. So we want to see the additional fees. We want to see all the shipping options and the new shipping option. Yeah, right by distance. So first, you can see we have the special packaging additional fee. This is the additional fees in the checkout. Great. You can see our count. You can see the totals. Now, let's fill up all the distance, all the details, and let's say we are in Universal Studios Hollywood in California. Let's see what shipping options do we get. So, so we get we get the end value by point three and the new one by distance by distance, which is approximately two thousand and eight hundred miles from here to uh, to Universal City, and let's uh, just change it uh, quickly to uh, let's say Cas Delicatessen because it's very close. It's very close and very delicious. That's it. And now. We want this distance to be smaller. So now we can see that by distance is it's only three dollars because it's three miles away. Amazing. So there you have it. You have by distance, you have by quantity and value, and you have carbon free. These are all custom shipping options. You will have the uh, special packaging additional fee. You saw everything interacts with, uh, with external APIs and between the, the SDIs, the, SDI, the two new SPIs. Yeah. So it was super, super easy. The hardest part here was just to code in JavaScript in this webinar in front of this camera. Uh, but, but you can see how easy it is to implement uh, SPIs using Velo. We charge additional fees for pleasure items. We just talked about it. The custom shipping rates by total quantity, the shipping rates and additional fees for low carbon emission, and the shipping rates by distance using Google Metrics API. And I, I think that for you guys, the opportunities here are endless because now you have an extension point where you can bring your own logic to answer lots of business, many business needs that today our native features are not enough for them. So the market is huge. And today we're starting to open this door for partners, agencies, applications to create different business use cases or different logics for those specific, the site specific needs. Obviously, soon you can also monetize from it, not creating only the customization for a specific site with Velo, but also to create an app that connects and implement those SPI and uh, working with our e-commerce platform, sitting on the app market that any, web, any Wix user and website can install in the website. And there is another way to, you know, answer a whole segment needs and not a specific site. I also want to emphasize that coming soon, we have the discounts logic SPI, which is a long awaited SPI that will give you tons of value. Whether if you can uh, uh, affect about the trigger, when to do a discount and also what the discount will be. So as we showed you today with additional fees and shipping, what, right of, uh, around the corner, we have the discounts that will provide you the ability to create different discount rules and different triggers by cart and by line items and connect with the two SPIs we just show you working on our Lacom platform. And later on this year, the tax logic SPI. And those opportunities are amazing. And we can't wait to see you guys how you implement it and answers with many different uh, needs, many different business needs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.